Routines that generate results. How to make sure you're the one when it's time to take action. Hi, my friends, Clint Stitzer with Stitzer Properties and the Purposeful Practitioner. And here in January and February, we're all about helping you stay in touch with your database in a relevant way such that you're talking to the right person at the right time with the right message. Okay, now conceptually, all these things come together and make a whole lot of sense. And people get really excited when they start to understand them. Executing consistently is where your living is made, okay? So what are the routines that create results? All right, my friends, so to identify the routines that create results, we're gonna go right back to the basics. And the basics of what we talked about are right person at the right time, okay? And how do you have a routine that creates results knowing that you gotta to talk to the right person at the right time? Well, if you remember, we talked about a database or a couple of videos we talked about, or the last video, excuse me, we talked about something as simple as a piece of paper that had names, the stages that these people were in, the last time you talked to them, and the next due date that you are gonna to talk to them based on the stage that they're in, okay? So taking that into consideration, the routine becomes very simple. At the end of the week or at the beginning of the next week, you want, to have zero people on your untouched list for the previous week. Here's what I mean. If you've got a list of dreamers that you're gonna to talk to every 30 days, if you're in a week of January 20th to January 27th and you have a due date to reach out to them because you talked to them December 20th to December 27th, you don't wanna have any untalked to person in that list of dreamer from January 20th to January 27th. So your goal is a big fat zero. Zero unmade calls, contacts, connections, conversations on your dreamer list. Same thing of your observer. If they're three to nine months out, every 21 days. So if you're in the week of January 20th to 27th, if you talk to that person January 1th, 1st to January 7th, 21 days later, don't worry about the math, let's not overcomplicate this. You're gonna have zero people that you were expected to talk to in that seven day period or add value to in that seven day period, unconnected with. Same concept, okay? So it's two things, it's a mindset and it's a ritual. The mindset is every week you wanna have zeros. What are the zeros? Zeros are the people that you did not connect with on a timely basis based on this formula the previous week. The mindset is this becomes a habit, this becomes an identity. An identity is a practitioner who's purposeful in making sure that you're adding relevant value to the right person at the right time, okay? So two things really make a routine be successful. Number one is a mindset that you're never gonna miss twice. Number two is a time and a way to measure to make sure that you're consistent in execution. All right, my friends, so that is the routine that generates results in making sure that you are relevant and in flow with people that when it's time for them to make a decision, you're the one they think of. This is Clint Stitzer with Purposeful Practitioner and Stitzer Properties, wishing you great success in your real estate practice.